Listen to that version of the chant. This time they've changed the words now to sun come out, sun come out, sun come up your spout. <laughs> With these sort of chants that children make up and change, would you say, would you call it musical composition? Yes, I would. When they invent chants like this, and they change the words and they add things like clapping and stamping to go with them and make up their own rules, what they're doing is experimenting with pattern. Uh, and pattern leads logically to form and structure. Yeah. And all music is about pattern. Close your eyes very tightly and just listen. And when you hear me starting to clap, you can join in and it will go on. Gallop and horses hop, horses gallop and gallop away, then gallop back home at the end of the day. Click, clop, clippity, clop, click, clop, clippity, clop, click, clop, clippity, clop, click, clop, clippity, clop. Who can give me a way to do that? All right, Paula. Clip, clop, clippity, clop, clip, clop, clippity, clop. Give it to me again. Clippity, clop. Ground is dry. See if you can stretch yourselves up. Come on, up, 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 up. Now stretch out behind you. Oh, now stretch out in front of you. Right. Now see if you can make yourselves into a curly thing. Curl and curve and stretch up again. Great big stretch. Oh. The work with the timbre is important because not only are you developing listening, but you're also helping the children to find all sorts of different ways to move their bodies. And so that when they come to dancing to music, they're able to move much more creatively. 
Yes, and as you say, the moving creatively involves the children in listening to music. And whether the music comes from a tambour or a drum or a tape recorder or a long playing record, each child is being given a chance to make an essentially individual response to the music. instrument made from a cow it's horn. A, it's from a cow horn and it's a very soft, very gentle sound that it makes. Well, let's listen to this one. Now that's made from wood, so it's quite a different sound. instruments very fast by moving your fingers up and down. Hey, look at this. Probably the loudest instrument that I've got here. This is called a Spanish bagpipe. Um, Zoe and Luke, come out and help me play it. Come and help me play it. We're all going to listen to this. Luke, you come here and hold that pipe above your head. Just put two hands on the pipe. Mm. <laughs> no, no, I want you to hold it high up. Oh. High up in the air, right? Zoe, when I say squeeze, I want you to squeeze the bag. And let's see what happens. Just stand a bit close there. Here we go. Squeeze! Still going. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Put it on the ground, quick, squeeze it, get all the air out of it. Get all the air out of it, Zoe. Won't stop, will it? It won't stop. We've got to get all the air out of it. Thanks very much, Luke and Zoe. Mike, would you go around there where we can see you? Now, Anthony, just Anthony, just put your hand out with the rest of your watch. Just look. Stroke across the strings there, Anthony, and listen to the sound. Patrick, would you like to do that too? Okay, lovely. Let's see if Julianne can do it. Let's just move back. Let's move back. Julianne, look. Look, Julianne. Well, this instrument has many strings, and I've got another stringed instrument to show you. 
Right, we'll do the Spanish guitar. Now, have you heard this sort of music before? When I stop playing, I'm going to get you to shout out something that they shout out in Spain when they're excited. They shout out, Ole! Ole! Let's try it. When I stop playing, playing the guitar or any other instrument, I think it's a shared experience. It's like I'm saying to the children, hey, look what we're doing here and now together. And for this reason, I like to introduce words and music from other countries, mm -hmm. words like ole. And what's more, in a session like that, because the children are so completely involved in what you're doing, concepts such as rhythm and balance and phrasing are being indirectly taught. And not only are they waiting for the moment to say ole, mm -hmm. but they're fascinated with the shape of the guitar, the way in which your left hand works, and the way in which your right hand moves across the strings. I mean, you've only got to look at their faces to see how really involved they are. I think this sort of involvement should also extend to electronic music. Right. Because today there's a whole new world of sound possibilities mm. available to us. Like this. Thank you. 